So we ran out of time last episode and we were discussing replacement cost insurance versus actual cash value insurance or ACV. Replacement cost insurance. Now, if there's a claim, your property will be restored to the original condition and there will be no deduction or appreciation. This means if your kitchen is damaged by a fire, the insurance company will rebuild you a new kitchen. With actual cash value insurance, your claim is based on the cost of buying similar items in similar condition to the ones you lost, so depreciation is factored into your payment. Now, this means if your kitchen is damaged by a fire, but it's 20 years old, insurance will pay you for a 20 year old kitchen. So without a doubt, replacement cost insurance sounds better, but there are still pros and cons of each. With replacement cost insurance, while you get everything restored to its original condition, the premiums are generally higher compared to ACV policies. So if you never have a claim over the time period that you own the property, it will cost you more money in the long run. But with ACV policies, while the premiums will save you money, you're going to be on the hook for the difference between the insurance payout and the brand new item. There's another term that took me a long time to understand, which is coinsurance. What is a coinsurance clause? A coinsurance clause makes sure the homeowner insures their property to an appropriate value and that the insurer receives a fair premium for that risk. For example, if you have a property that will cost $300,000 to rebuild with a full replacement cost policy, you would pay a premium based on the $300,000 valuation. So for the more frugal investors out there, they might be thinking, well, since replacement cost policies are more expensive, I'll simply tell the insurance company to insure the property for $200,000 and pay one third less premium. And that's where the coinsurance clauses come in. Most coinsurance clauses are 80% or 90% of the value of the building. This means in the above example, in order for the insurance company to pay out the proper claim amount and the building is worth $300,000, with a 90% coinsurance clause, the building must be insured to a value of at least $270,000 which is 90% of 300,000. Otherwise, the insurance company will force the property owner to share in the loss with the insurance company and essentially punishes the owner for failing to insure their property to a proper level. Next week, we'll be discussing what you should be doing on possession day. Thanks for watching.